hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm not alone this time. There's two of me and I've just checked in to my hotel in Berlin. It's called the Hotel Mani by Amano. It's part of the Amano Hotel Group. This location is in Mitte in Berlin. It's very centrally located and I'm here just for the long weekend for some fun activities with friends and in this video I will give you a full review of my hotel stay, including a tour of the room and any other amenities and things that I experience within the hotel. So if that sounds good, let's jump in to the room tour. All right, so when you enter into the room, this is what you see. I am in room number 404. So when you step in, we have the bathroom area on the left which I will share in a bit more detail later. A very open floor plan concept. We have a mirror on the right, hello airplane outfit. And then panning over to the center of the room, I notice a very large bed and this actually looks like a king size bed. Let's see, the test is, no, I think this actually is a king size bed. No two twin beds pushed together, which is fantastic. And above the bed is this very chic woman. I mean, is she gonna be my kind of spirit woman while I'm here in Berlin? I think so. Um, and then over here on the right, we have a little desk area, which has some sort of snazzy little tablet situation, which I'll need to play around with. There is something for the restaurant uh, downstairs, which is Explore Israeli Mexican Fusion Cuisine. That sounds rather interesting. And then we've got some other kind of bits. Oh, a little postcard from the hotel. Um, some little bits on the hotel here with a little light. And then we'll look out the window in a second, but on the right of the bed, we have the, these are light controls for the room. There's also an EU plug, which is great. I love a plug next to the bed to charge the phone. And then, ooh, what a nice perk. We've got a Nespresso machine over here with, um, which looks like a little kettle for hot water. And then, ooh, we've got some snazzy glass cups. And then in this box here, okay, so we've got our Nespresso capsules and what looks like, let's see, how good is my German, ooh. Ooh, minty and herbal tea. Like the sound of that. So yeah, looks um, looks quite nice here in terms of what we got as a setup. So that's lovely for the morning. And then let's go pan over to the other side of the room. We've got what looks like a wardrobe and some other bits over there. And then in front of the bed, we have the flat screen TV. Oh, right, I forgot. I wanted to show you my view or if, let's see if I have one. So I'm just looking up on the, the Torstrab. I don't know how, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, sorry, this is like, I'll turn the light off later, but it's just, I have a street facing room. And I wonder if the window's open because there are some bars on it. I guess we'll have to find out. And then moving over here, we also on this side of the bed have the lights um, the EU plug, and I actually think that's a phone jack there. Um, I stuck my finger in it before, probably not advisable. But here we are, the things I do for you. Um, okay, and then, I'm sorry it's so dark. I need to figure out how to turn the lights on in this room. Un momento. Okay, so playing with the lights worked. So we've got in here, because we count the hangers on this channel, I'm sorry this is really crappy lighting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hangers in there. I wonder if I turn this off. No, it's just really dark. Not the, <laughs> not great for those who can't see in the dark. Just gonna throw that out there. Um, we've got an in-room safe over here with instructions on how to use it. And then we do have kind of a laundry wash, wash bag. I'm not gonna even attempt the pronunciation there with some pricing on for doing that. All right, let's keep exploring. I'm gonna turn this light off. All right, so moving over to this little cupboard, I'm quite curious what's in here. Okay, so this just looks like maybe some more wardrobe storage. Ooh, 
Okay, and then we've got the mini bar, which these are all things that come for a fee, which looks like some Red Bull, some water, and um, <laughs> looks like some beers and Coca-Colas. And then, let's close that up. We also have a little bit of mini bar snacks over here, which come with like kettle chips, Skittles, Ooh, Richer Sport, um, and some Haribo. I feel like this is a win in Germany, a little packet here with the Haribo and the Richer Sport. And then this just shows you in here the prices of things, which, um, yeah. So, not so bad. Everything is around four to seven euros, depending on the item. All right, we've got thing here. Then we have a little area for the towels and the you get some little slippers. And then in terms of the toiletries that it comes with, it comes with a bar of soap as well as um, conditioning shampoo, some body cream, that's nice, and uh, body wash. Of course no hair conditioner, what's up with that? Very much caters towards men and not women. Minus the, minus the body cream, I like that. Um, okay, and then in here is the waste bin. Very unique use of space. And then this won't open because that's the refrigerator. And then to my right, we have the shower. So in here, we've got, there we go. Just to kind of very, very basic. And looks like some very nondescript body wash situation there. Um, and then one thing to point out, because this is important to someone who travels with lots of products, there is a really nice space in here to put all your things that you travel with, which is great. Um, and then moving out here, we've got a very petite little sink. I mean, not so bad, not so petite, but really no space to put anything, which is a little disappointing. And then we have the mirror, hello again. But there's, I wonder, what does this do? Oh, just when I was complaining about there's no space to put anything, there's another little cupboard. Okay, I can deal with, I can work with that. And there's also some little plastic cuppy things. <laughs> Cups. <laughs> um, I, don't know why, I don't know why I just said cuppy things. It's 11.30 p.m. right now, so please exercise kindness when you troll me. Um, and then there's also a very huge zoom-in mirror here. And then you might be wondering, where is the toilet? Well, forgive the lighting. How do I... No? Oh, okay. Hello. Um, we have... I'm guessing the toilet's in here. Yes, we have a winner. All right, so yeah, we've got, I mean, windowless room could be precarious for some when traveling with romantic partners, but there is a toilet, there is privacy, which is nice. And also, when you come in, there is the in-room, the key card, and there also is a temperature control as well, which is great. Okay, me again, because I was playing around with the Nespresso machine kit, and I discovered that there's some really random stuff in the drawer that I just don't know why it's in the drawer where the Nespresso machine is. So here we've got your vanity kit. We've got a shoe shine, a shower cap, and a sewing kit. So, um, well, I do agree that it's lovely that they provide these amenities to guests. I think the placement of them in the drawer of the Nespresso machine is a bit random. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> all right, first impressions on the room. It definitely is small, but this is kind of a three-star boutique -y hotel. So I wasn't expecting a large room as part of my booking. I think for a small room, Getting a king size bed that's not two twin beds pushed together is really awesome and a lot more comfortable. And I think that the use of the cupboards and the, like even like the little nook behind the bathroom mirror, there's a lot of storage space. So 
for me, I, I mean, you should see how much money I spend at the airport boots trying to bring all those like travel size liquids in. I feel like I'm gonna have space for all my stuff, which is great. So yeah, I think in terms of value for money, I'm really happy with it so far. And when I walked in, it just looks really fun and trendy. There's a really charming bar area and the restaurant space looks beautiful. So I think for kind of a pied-a-terre, little boutique style hotel near all the things I wanna be in Berlin, very happy so far, but let's see how the rest of the stay goes. Good morning from the Hotel Mani. Um, I'm not showing my face yet because I need to still get camera ready, but I've just used the Nespresso machine and it looks really nice, even comes with little milks. Um, I've also played around with this tablet here and what's really cool is, um, okay, just telling you to keep it charged, but there's a lot of things you can do in the actual tablet. So if anything is missing, so things like, ooh, you can also order coffee at reception. That's nice to know, like cafe crema, espresso, cappuccino, so that's quite nice. Um, so still water, not so bad. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. So drinks, sweets, can order some of the stuff from the mini bar and then extras, dental kit, shower kit, shampoo, body lotion, razor, bath bathrobe, iron and ironing board, extra pillow, extra Nespresso capsules. They actually charge you one euro 50 for them though. Um, I guess I'll be working with what I've got. Um, you can also request late checkout. So I've actually already done this. I, for 20 euros, you can request 1 p.m. late checkout or um, for 30 euros, 3 p.m. So because my flight is for 30 p.m., I've already made that request. Um, okay, oh, uh oh, how do I? Hope I didn't cancel my request then. Um, you can also go um, and book your breakfast time. So if you don't have breakfast included in your room, which I do not, it is 15 euros per person for breakfast. And then you also can, um, Oh, it looks like you can kind of control, it gives you a list of TV channels, gives you some, oh, hold on. All right, so that was just the hotel calling me. My late checkout was granted and up to 1 p.m. It's actually no charge, but subject to approval. So yeah, so in here you can see all the things for the Mani restaurant, laundry service. Um, so that's quite cool. Um, let's go back and see what else we've got. Uh, bars and restaurants. So you also can see um, all of the Amano Group hotel, um, hotel bars and restaurants that are an option for you to go to, which is really lovely. Hey guys, so I wanted to check in and let you know how my stay at the Hotel Mani by Amano is going. I'm sorry that my voice is a little bit hoarse. What happens in Berlin? <laughs> so the stay has been great at the Hotel Mani. Everyone who works here is so incredibly friendly. We went down and worked from the hotel bar for a little bit. We, um, they have, you know, pretty good Wi-Fi speed here. And I had a coffee and we also treated ourselves to one of, you can actually order some of the starters from the, um, restaurant over in the bar. So we had this starter, which was um, this amazing kind of seasoned bread with all these different kind of dips, like labine, um, I think like a sesame one, a hummus, um, tahini was super good, super filling, was exactly what we needed before we hit the town in Berlin. Um, so other practicalities on the hotel. The bed behind me has been super comfortable. Um, no complaints, no issues. I think it's like a medium kind of firmness of the mattress, so not too soft, not too hard. Pillows are definitely on like the smushy soft side, but you can kind of double them up if you want. Love that it was a big uh, king size bed. Definitely was like, you know, uh, what it's like, what is it, the starfish? <laughs> Just really enjoying all of my space. Um, next to me over here, let me close that part with the Nespresso machine has been great. I'm just gonna flip the camera around. 
So one thing to note, um, they do charge extra if you want to replace some of the capsules during the, your stay. I think it's one pound, one euro fifty. Um, we did have to ask for some extra milks. They don't, housekeeping doesn't replenish them daily, which the staff was very happy just to accommodate. Um, and let me think of what else I want to tell you about. The shower was great. The water pressure is very strong. Um, so temperature is great. Um, yeah, so I think the room itself has been really quiet. So as mentioned, I'm in room 404. So I'm all the way on the end of the hotel away from the elevator. So I haven't heard any guest noise in the hallway. You definitely can hear some noise from the street side. So I am on the Torstrasse. Let me flip you around. So I'm on the street side over here. So I have heard only actually really the odd ambulance, but not something that has uh, woken me up in the middle of the night. So I do think if you are a sensitive sleeper, you can just ask to be on the other side of the hallway. There is an inner courtyard where my friend's room was um, on the other side. So that's a very solvable situation. And yeah, sadly, I didn't get to experience breakfast here just because it's Berlin and we're here for a birthday party this weekend. We've been staying out late, as you can tell by my voice. Um, we didn't get to eat at the restaurant except the little starter snack, which is disappointing because I've heard that even if you're not staying at this hotel, the restaurant is a really great restaurant to come to. So I am definitely gonna have to come back and try it. All right, so let's go into the drum roll, please. Da -da -da -da. Would I stay here again? Absolutely. I think the location is super central in Mitte. It was incredibly easy to get a taxi with Freenow, the app. Just one minute, you have a taxi downstairs waiting. Um, so that's been really great. And it's been very walkable to Soho House. If you remember, it's about 15 minutes walking to Soho House. And there are some nice... Uh, grocery stores and uh, even a 24-7 grocery store outside of the hotel so if you want like water, snacks, candy, anything that's been super easy to replenish. Okay so pros and cons of the hotel. The pros I would say are the location in Mitte, super central, um, the king size bed, super comfy, rooms are very quiet, incredibly friendly staff here, they're just perfect English, so willing to help and just like friendly, wonderful, um, because we were here for this really fun weekend. They, the girls at the front desk just kept saying, how was your night? What did you wear? And we just were like, um, it felt like we were just like catching up with our friends every time we came into the hotel, which was really, really lovely and just added to the experience. And the other pro I would say is you do have all the amenities you want, so you can, um, if you want breakfast, you can pay for breakfast. They have great coffee, a bar where you can get like a cocktail before you go out, and a great restaurant, even though it is kind of a very tiny boutique hotel, which is cool. Um, and then I would say as well, because they're part of the Amano Hotel Group, it, you know, I think they have eight locations in Berlin. Um, there are much bigger locations, so if you do want like a bigger room, you can look at their other properties. This is like, the more boutique-y option. So the cons of the hotel, I would say honestly not many. I would say my only thing would be if you were two people in the room, I do feel um, just pack light. If it's if you're just here for a weekend, it's totally fine. But because of like the decentralized bathroom, it is just a little bit tinier for two people to be getting ready at once. But you know what, if you're here with your kind of partner, just you just take all the hangers and <laughs> and all of the bathroom vanity space because obviously. <laughs> so yeah, I wouldn't dissuade me from coming back with someone else sharing the room with me because the bed is so big and lovely, but just different travelers have different standards for the size of hotel room they want if they're solo traveler versus not. So I always like to explain that. But yeah, I think that covers everything. As always, if you have a comment, a question, please leave it down below. I'm really good at um, responding to follow-up questions of things I didn't answer. But yeah, if you have another great hotel that you love to stay at in Berlin, leave it in a comment below because sharing is always caring here on this channel. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. That 
really helps this channel. If you want to see more of my travel adventures and hotel reviews, please hit subscribe. There's so many more great videos to come. So thanks again for tuning in and I will see you soon.